Hey guys, once again I gotta apologize for the racket. They're building a house up above me here. So there's a lot of racket going on, so apologize for that. I thought while I had this uh, 57 Chevy truck out here, I'd once again want to tell you I have a brand new window visor for 55 through 59 Chevrolet truck or GMC truck. They're all the same as far as the window visor. And it's brand new. I've never put it on. Still got the the screws that still in the package. I got it from Eckler's. I gave uh, two hundred and eighty-two dollars and forty-seven cents for it. And uh, let's see, I'm flipping over so you can see. It's got all the screw holes that you mounted onto your truck. So, still got the original box, and if you're interested in it, if you're at least bit interested in it, please contact me, leave a comment, and a way I can get a hold of you. It's dusty from sitting in the garage, but uh, I really do like them, and as if you've watched any of my videos uh, before, for, for a while, I've mentioned several times that I've had four 57 Chevy trucks or GMCs, and uh. So this is what it looks like when it's on. Now, now this one that I've got for sale new is still in the factory black. This one is what, this is what it looks like. And it, as you can see, it bolts, uh, screws right into the truck. So there's not much chance of it coming off. I've never had no problems with it. And to me, it just really, it just, I don't know. I've always just loved them. And I put them on every one I got, but it always just, makes it kind of pop and it looks good and kind of gives the appearance in my opinion that it's a little lower uh, than what it actually is so it kind of gives it that cool factor I'll say but anyway if you're interested in this uh, wind, windshield visor why just contact me through YouTube leave a comment or a way I can get a hold of you and just best reasonable offer Obviously, I can't give it away. I've got nearly $300 in it, but I mean, if you'll give me a reasonable offer, you know, uh, just or interested in it at all, why just let me know, and uh, I think you'll like it. Of course, you can paint it to match your truck if you want to, or you can just leave it black. Whichever, I've left mine just that just that way, black, many a time. And, uh, you know, the, I, actually, this is the first one I've ever painted, and I'm kind of sorry I didn't paint the others that I had on my other trucks, but, you know, it's, you live and learn, don't you? And opinions and tastes differ, and mine changes almost every day. So let me know if you're interested in something like this. It's pretty cool, and I'll give somebody a heck of a deal in it because I don't need it, and I'd rather somebody got it that could actually use it. So... I appreciate you watching the video. I have more stuff for sale. Just, I think I put some on last week of some uh, bucket seat chrome. It goes on a 62, 3, 4, 5 Impala or Pontiac Buick. Just check out my videos from last week. I think it was last week. Uh, parts for sale. I think I put four or five items up for sale. And if you're interested in any of them, let me know. The steering wheel I put up yesterday is sold. So... As I said, just leave me a comment, and we can kind of go from there, and I'm pretty easy to deal with. So, and uh, if you do get the windshield visor, if you do buy it, send me a picture of it, if you don't mind, when you get it uh, put on your truck. I'd love to see it. Okay, hey, y'all have a good day. I am. The sun's out, and other than this racket from the house getting built, I'm in pretty good shape. Hope you are, too. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, leave a comment, uh, share and uh, all that other good stuff. Uh, Y'all have a good one. I'll see you later.